Hey guys, it's Trickton with Trickton's Gaming, giving you a tutorial on how to install add-ons for MMOs like Elder Scrolls Online. In this video, I will show you how to install Minion, which is an add-on management software, as well as what you will need to do to install the best ESO add-ons and how to troubleshoot any problems that arise. Before we jump in, if this video helps you, please give the video a like, and if you would like to see more tips and tricks like this for MMOs like Elder Scrolls Online, subscribe to the channel and don't miss that bell so you're notified when the next video comes out. Stick around to the end of the video because I will be giving you a list of the best ESO add-ons to use in 2023. And to make things easier for you, I have put all of the links and the timestamps down in the description of the video. So be sure to look there for more information. Now let's get into it. If you are watching this, then there's a pretty good chance that you already know that add-ons are little plugins that have been gifted from the developer gods, like him. These add-ons are amazing things that can increase the enjoyment of the games that you play. In fact, when there's a large portion of the player base that uses an add-on for a game, typically the game developers will include the add-on in the base game. This is just one of the ways that games develop and evolve over time. By using add-ons, you can improve your gameplay and increase the overall enjoyment that you get out of a game. Add-ons can do everything from tracking your damage and healing to showing you where the secrets are located in a game. So if there's a functionality that you wish a game had, you can probably bet there's an add-on for it. If you already have a favorite ESO add-on, Put it in the comments below, and if enough people ask for it, I will install the add-on and do a guide on it. To install an add-on, first you'll need to install a software called Minion. Minion is a premier add-on management tool that will contain all of our ESO add-ons. I have put the link for the software down in the description. Once there, click on the download button and select your operating system. Once selected, the Minion client will begin downloading to your browser. Once that's finished, Select the arrow and click open. You will then be asked if you want to install Minion. Here, I selected yes. The Minion setup wizard will then pop up and begin the installation. Select next at the bottom right hand corner. From here, select the file path that you would like Minion to use. If you're unsure about this, I recommend leaving the file path that it comes up with. Once selected, click next at the bottom right hand corner of the setup window. The installation will then create a program shortcut. To continue, press Next. The program is now ready to install, so click the Install button. Once the program is done installing, click Finish. Now that the Minion program is installed, there will likely be some needed updates, so I selected the Update Now option. Now, Minion wants to know what games I'm using. As I no longer have World of Warcraft, I will unselect that checkbox I also check the box to remember my settings, as I do not want to be asked each time. Minion will then ask to scan the drives that Elder Scrolls Online is on. If you know which drive this is, then select that drive. If you're unsure about this, then you can just choose to scan all of the drives. I then checked the remember my settings box and click continue. Now, if you decided to scan all of your drives, this can take a minute, depending on the size of your drives. If you get bored while you're waiting, feel free to jump over to the Trickton Shorts YouTube and watch some short clips while you wait. Once Minion has finished scanning, it will then ask you to select the add-on folder of the game that you are wanting to play. Select Elder Scrolls Online. Once selected, a window will pop up so that you can select the folder. Simply navigate to your Documents folder and select Elder Scrolls Online. Once that's open, open the Live folder and select the Add-ons folder. If you do not see the add-ons folder, you can create it. However, make sure that the add-ons folder has an S at the end. Click the folder and then select the Select Folder button at the bottom of the window. Minion is now ready to use. However, if you don't see the menus, don't worry. Just relaunch the program as it just needs to be reset. Once open, Minion should look like this. Congratulations! You have successfully downloaded Minion and you're ready to start downloading Elder Scrolls Online add-ons. At the top of your screen, you will see the main menu. This is where you can find the Installed tab, which is where all of your installed add-ons will be located once they've been downloaded. 
To find new add-ons, you can click the Find More tab, which will open a library of add-ons that you are able to install. Once the add-ons are installed, it is important to make sure that they are up to date. To do this, select the Update All button when the updates are available. You can also create a backup of the add-ons in your Backup tab. This is great in case one of your new add-ons stops working, you can revert back to the previous backup when it did work. Now, let's walk through how to download and install the ESO SkyShard add-on. To install the ESO add-ons, click on the Find More tab. By clicking on the SkyShard add-on, it will bring up a description window that will tell you about the add-on and what it does. It is important when downloading an add-on to also download the dependent add-ons so that the add-on will work properly. To do this, scroll down the add-on description to the dependent add-on section. Pro tip, I would recommend bringing up the notepad and copying and pasting the list of add-ons into the notepad so that you can keep track as you go. Once you have the dependent add-ons on your notepad, it's time to start the scavenger hunt. Hit install on the main add-on. Close the window and next click on the search bar and look up the names of the add-on that we pasted into our notepad. Once you find the needed add-on, click install and move on to the next. As a side note, it may be beneficial to open the windows of the add-ons to make sure that they are the correct add-ons, as sometimes the names don't match perfectly. Now that you have downloaded the add-on, it is time to go into your game and make sure that it was installed properly. Once logged into your character, go to the settings menu and then select the add-on tab. This is where you'll be able to see if you're missing any of the needed add-ons. If you see red text, click on the drop down arrow on the left side. This will then tell you which add-on you're missing. Simply go back to the minion find more tab and search for that item. Once you have found it, click install. Now go back into your game and reload your user interface by typing forward slash reload UI in your chat window. Once that's done loading, return back to your ESO add-ons page in the settings menu and the red text should be gone. You will notice that beside the add-ons it says that they are out of date. This is okay, just open your minion application and select update all. If it doesn't show any updates are available, that means that the developers are still working on the add-on updates. And there you go, you've downloaded your first add-on. Because I don't want this video to be too long, watch this video and find out what the 10 best ESO add-ons to use are in 2023. I honestly don't know how I survived without number 9. If this video has been slightly helpful, please give the video a like, and if you'd like to see more tips and tutorials like this for MMOs like Elder Scrolls Online, subscribe to the channel. If you'd rather get your questions answered live, I stream live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 p.m. Mountain on YouTube and Facebook, so come hang out. And until the next time, thanks for watching.